Motorsport is expensive. Everybody knows this. It costs millions of pounds to get to Formula One, but more importantly for normal punters like us, you have to separate with at least £35 of your hard-earned cash to pop down the local kart track and have a go. But there are more expensive options out there if you're a bit of a baller and fancy splashing some dough. These carts are based on experience price because the last one cannot be rented as it's so damn good. Intrigued? Thought so. Let's go. £35. This cart is the Sodi RT8, the standard outdoor rental cart. I'm going to name him Steve. Sodi Steve. Well, Steve is actually in an extremely reliable cart as he's built to survive thousands of all the gear but no idea humans that think they're the next Michael Schumacher, so basically thousands of me. You want to know the specs? Well, it has a 390cc four-stroke engine, weighs around 150 kilograms, it has a whopping 12, yes 12 brake horsepower, which is 80 brake horsepower per tonne, at around 3,600 rpm with a top speed of 55 miles an hour. That's a lot of stats. Okay, so we come out of the pits into Sodi Steve, and already I can hardly turn. Very, very unresponsive on the front end. This is where my lack of karting comes in, trying to get the tyre temperature in. Steve is just so unresponsive. Steve, wake up, please. I genuinely respect decent kart racers because I am mystified. Steve! Steve! Wake up! I mean, it's still bit, oh god, the understeer is just so bad! Oh lordy lord, Jesus Christ! Oh lordy lord, turn you bastard! Phew! Well, now that Steve has got the blood flowing, let's move on. £3,500 cash money the rotax max and i don't like the name max because it doesn't use alliteration so from here on the cart shall be named rotax roger roger is so good you can't even pay to rent him out that sounds pretty dodgy because he is worth too much money and isn't robust enough for the general public to be constantly crashing let's have a sneaky look into some specifications and it's pretty safe to say roger is getting a little bit naughty in terms of speed here 125 cc two-stroke engine weighing only 85 kilograms giving off 28 brake horsepower which is 330 brake horsepower per ton at 11 and a half thousand rpm and has a top speed of over 70 miles an hour. Roger, you are glorious. So this is my first time in Rotax Roger, and apparently it's quick as hell. Oh my God, I'm slightly f***ing myself, I'm not gonna lie. F***ing balls, what the f***? How is there so much power? Like, I'm just trying to take it easy right now, because I know that it's gonna kick up an absolute storm at the back end. It's so icy that I can't push it whatsoever. Oh my god! I'm absolutely s***ing myself! You have to be so careful on the accelerator, otherwise you will explode the rear end. Oh my god! That's absolutely disgusting! Roger, you're doing stuff to me! It's absolutely wonderful! I'm sorry, Steve. It is nothing like you. You're a bit of fun to play around with, but my God, Roger! A millimetre on the throttle and you're flying! These are not optimal karting conditions. Under brakes, it's, it's so twitchy. Roger, can you just be a bit more gentle? Please! Roger, you are something else. All in all, Sodi Steve is a great basic cart if you're looking to hone your karting skills to a good level. But if you want something a little more extreme, a little more frightening, then Rotax Roger really does fit the bill. You might also want to pack a spare pair of underwear too. I'm not going to ask you which cart impressed you the most because it's obviously Steve. What's the fastest cart you've ever been in? Let us know in the comment section below.